In the summer, fire ants can be pretty plentiful in Georgia, but as I recently found out, as much as they can be a nuisance, they can also be pretty beneficial to both farmers and ranchers. We've all done it. Walked across the pasture, garden, or the front yard only to come up on a mound of fire ants. Seems this time of year, lots of questions are coming around the extension offices in Georgia. You know, we got imported fire ants here in the area, so it's kind of, kind of, expanded over the years. I think they found them in Mobile, Alabama years ago and they just kind of kind of exploded. Um, they're, 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 you know, pests not only in gardens but also, you know, um, pasture type situations, um, you know, cattle production, hay production, you know, they can be, um, you know, they can be pests in, in the yard and garden. So, you know, they can be a pest in not only gardens but also in other, other things too. Amber Arrington recently joined the UGA Extension Services. She told us fire ants are more than a nuisance. Well, in an um, agricultural setting, fire ants can be beneficial in that they're going to attack many pests that are actually attacking your crop, um, especially a lot of soil-borne insects such as white grubs or wire worms. Um, can definitely, fire ants can come in and definitely take out some of those pests and attack them and um, other immatures and such that may be on the leaves, fire ants will attack those as well. Dr. Daniel Souter at UGA's research campus in Griffin said there are some important ways to keep fire ants out of your garden and your fields. The old standard AMDRO really is the kind of the fire ant standard for over-the-counter uh, homeowner usage in yards and in gardens and things of that sort. So uh, AMDRO is a, it's a bait, uh, not to be confused with a granular formulation that you can get in a 10 pound, 20 pound bag that's sitting on the, sitting on the shelf or the floor over at uh, one of your big box stores. Uh, those, are, those are intended to be contact toxicants. So the only true bait that a homeowner might have access to would be, would be hydromethanol. There are a couple other baits that are out there, but hydromethanol is one that homeowners are gonna run into uh, most commonly. And of course a bait is, is intended to be eaten. You put that bait out and uh, uh, the ants consume it. They take in the toxicant, they spread that through the colony and the, the, you get a slow decline of the colony. If you need more information on battling the fire ants or other nuisance ant species found in Georgia, as always, go to gfb.org.